In this section, we'll talk about property taxes and specifically the three ways that property taxes are calculated using the different homestead exemptions. In the first example, we're going to calculate the property taxes when the property value is $50,000 or less. And again, in all three of these examples, we're going to talk about homestead property and the homestead tax exemptions that are available. Now, to figure out property taxes, what you typically would do is take the assessed value of the property times the tax rate. That would give you what's called the tax liability or the taxes due. If you had no exemptions on the property, then this is all you would have to do to calculate the amount of tax due. But this property is a homestead and qualifies for the $25,000 basic homestead tax exemption. So what we would do is take $25,000, which is your exemption amount, times the tax rate, that would give you the total tax savings accountable or attributable to the homestead tax exemption. In this case, the tax liability is going to be your total tax liability minus your savings from the exemption, and that will be the amount of the property taxes due. Let's take this one step further. There's three components to this again. Now we're gonna do the same thing but in this case, the property value is not 50,000 or less, which would again only have a $25,000 exemption. In this case, the property value is somewhere between 50,000 and $1 on up to $75,000. The reason for this is the second homestead exemption kicks in over $50,000. So the first $25,000 exemption applies to properties up to 50,000 in value. The second exemption, second 25,000, applies over 50,000 in value. So this again, this is two of three. So we take a look at this, again, same thing, assessed value times tax rate would be your tax liability. But this property, you have $50,000 in homestead exemptions. So you take your base exemption of 25,000 times the tax rate, and you get your savings from the first exemption. Notice this applies to city, county, and school board. Plus you have your second exemption, which is on the assessed value over 50,000, okay? So any part between 50,000 and 75,000 times that tax rate. Notice here though, it only applies to the city and the county, not to the school board. So you would take your savings from your second exemption, that would equal your total savings. So your savings from the first, savings from the second. You would subtract that from your tax liability, again, minus your savings, and that would give you your property taxes due. Now the third example note is when the property value is $75,000 and up. In this case, same thing, assessed value times tax rate equals your tax liability. Now you have a $50,000 homestead exemption regardless of what your property value is. That's because your property value in the question is over $75,001. In this case, your base exemption is $25,000, city, county, and school board plus your second exemption of 25,000 times the city and the county only, add those two together, that's your total savings, subtract that from your tax liability, and that will give you your property taxes due. For these examples, I'm not gonna use numbers, there's plenty of numbers available in your textbook on this, but what I want you to understand here is that there are three possible ways that a homestead tax exemption could be calculated or property taxes on a property that has a homestead tax exemption could be calculated all based upon the value of that property. Learn and memorize these three and you should have no problem with them on your exam.